Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, we early. It's dark and it's spooky on the pool. But see you guys on the beach. Tidal channel on the boardwalk. Still not enough light to do videos. And it's really, really quiet. There is no sensory candy here. Well, there's sensory candy. There's just no feather folk filling it. They're starting to wake up, but very quiet at the moment. All along this misty, grassy meadows, there's definitely indication of fresh hippo activity. So I'm choosing to go straight over to the beach, not chancing to run in any one of them here. We've reached the safety of the beach sand. But this is expelliating. Ja, Papa, jij is bij af de vrede voor ogen. Nee. Ja, kom, kom, kom. Light carrying capabilities of the Samsung A53. It's absolutely incredible. Four forty five Boardwalk Entrance, also known as the Estuary Beach. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on, 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 that was beautiful. Haven't been here this early for a while. There's another one going. Let's see if we can catch them on this one. See what it is. I'm shy all of a sudden. In the video of the 18th, I think, Leah discussed the intertidal zone with us just broadly. And yeah, yeah, we can see what she was talking about. The fish living here. For those that thought that there's no fish living here, let's see if we can see some more. That's what I'm talking about. This is water under the sand, right over here. Some boats coming, Bardet running and playing, Frankie coming. Come Bardet, come as you can. Hey, come. Frank found the culprits. These are the fish running here on the sand. Uh, in the shallow waters in the waves, glasses. That means the system is starting to pick up. That's my goal. That's my goal. This prachtig hier net par dit. This prachtig papa. We're on the today's launch site. It doesn't look good. It sits on top of each other. The channel is, channel is very narrow. The sandbank looks shallow. Boats are getting ready to, look, to be pushed. Wiseman abandoned the tractor to go and help the jet skis. It lays in there in a beach cabana, waiting for daddy to finish. Hey, 
Leer jij lekker? Ja, ik maak video van jou. Ik maak video van jou, oh, ja. I'm doing the extreme boating videos. Look what that is girl is doing. She's lying in a beach cabana. Ja. Pardé, kom, pardé, kom, swinky, 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 zo so op mijn wang. Hey, wat is jouw probleem? Kom eens, ja, zei papa, swinky, swinky, zei papa. Prachtig vandaag. Huh? Wat is dat dan? Ja, kom met kids. Amazing. Ja, oh mijn god. Ja. Massive ghost scrap on the shoreline there. No tidal movement out, only tidal movement in. I'm not going to be able to see in this mist what is happening with the southern channel. Unpleasant. Tidal interaction here with high tide last night. A lot of reeds being moved all over the show. Lumbu growing here on the shoreline. Look at all this debris that washed out here. Wow. Okay, the mist is clearing. Doesn't look like the rubber and the rock channel has married. There's some interaction, but definitely not an outflow of water. What's happening on the southern banks remains to be seen. We're working our way there. For this, for this, for this, some ocean water bank over there creating a color current disturbance. Yeah, see as it comes around the corner, they cutting away at the at the mud bank, but not doing much. Okay, I'm going to go to high ground to see what's happening with the southern channel. It's very interesting. Now that the estuary mouth has opened since the 14th of April 2022. And still no marine interaction, no marine life breathed into the system yet. Like if all hope is lost. Let's see when it gets closer to winter. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm negative about science and scientists, but really, they stuffed up this really badly, and they hanging in there, they are sticking to their guns. This was the right decision to close it and call it nature taking its course. <laughs> That's playing God. That's not even farming. That is playing Sacrifice God. Sacrifice this whole working basin. Just because you believe in science? Even a prep like me predicted this in 2012. Yes, I was in the public participation meeting. Yes, they did remove my comments and me from the register. Because I told them, without helping the estuary to scour, you're just going to kill it. And they still are so adamant that this is nature taking its course. But there's barely anything alive here. Until we've got a generation of scientists that wants to work with nature and not control nature. Oh, 
little ghost crab playing there in the water we've got a generation of scientists that wants to work with nature and not control nature Oh wow, okay this is what's happening here at the robber and the rob channel, these uh, waves burping into the robber robbed channel through the robber channel which is went right out into the Indian Ocean. As you can see the tide is pushing and we have just outflow, net outflow of water. Of course the estuary basin it's entirely has lifted, it's higher than sea level now than one with 1.6 meters. So the estuary will always just keep on draining into the ocean. Unless we make a basin where the energy can be Accumulated, the net outflow can be harvested and the inflow can be managed and harvested. Until then, we don't have much hope for a functioning issue. Our little ghost crab playing there in the water. Another one, they're quite full up here in this cropped channel, the northern channel, quite big ones as well. We're gonna, on the incoming tide, we're going to work our way back north, see what we find along the beach that was interesting. Thank you, Mark. Jan and Anthony for this monopod works well with the cell phone on top of it beautiful I get shots that I can normally not get I must just le learn to speak up with the monopod because the camera is, the cell phone is not close to my face at the moment Water color here at the estuary mouth, nice ginger, a light ginger, going north it becomes greenish, no wind at the moment but it looks like if it's going to blow north east or northwest when it starts. The ocean leaped havoc last night, some sort of storm surge came through, that's a piece of a side and lawn from the rocks. Which rocks? I don't know. It's a piece of plastic. Then no, it looks like a plant to me. Sure. The boardwalk is quoted by Isimangalisa Wetland Park as 480 meters long, from Sugar Life Parking right here to where it ends on the beach. Only thing I don't like about the Isimangalisa right up. They only rebuilt the boardwalk. The boardwalk was built after 1984 by the Natal Parks Board Honorary Officer. But anyway, whatever keeps their boat floating, it's up to them. Very sad at the moment, not only the dead mangrove trees that's not growing back, sprouting back, but the decline on red dikers. The communities are hungry 
they're going to feed their children. Either we get the system working and they feed from the system or they're just going to harvest the rest of it. We can debate this as much as we like. That is a fact of life. Sorry I'm so harsh today. Eugene, my humble apologies doing it on your video that you sponsor. I don't want to talk Africa politics. But um, the more hungry the people are, the more they will vote for corrupt governments. That's just how desperation among humanity works. I must all do us all a favor and take my political and conservation views off platform to Facebook or maybe create a Google Drive. Old lady <sighs> threw her engine on me and she's rusted. So we're going to take her now to evaluate the rust before we start with the engine. Rent it to Moby da Jack. Jack, um, compliments of Alan. Thank you, Alan. Now the job can proceed. See you guys on the other side.